happy Friday everybody and have we got anybody watching. So we've an exciting demonstration lined up this morning. Um, the other day we gave basically a quiz or question, what did you want us to demonstrate for Father's Day? And it was kind of nearly 50-50. Some people wanted us to do a table centre and some people wanted us to do something for a grave. So we have designed an arrangement here this morning that's going to cover both. So basically you have your dinner, when you're full and you're stuffed, you're going to remove some of the items out of this arrangement and off you go up to the grave and place it on your dad's grave for Father's Day if that's the situation that suits you. Now, a lot of people do comment, where do I get the hair bands, okay? There's a company called Spicy Bee and I didn't realise this at the time. It was only when I got in contact with them that I realised that the owner of Spicy Bee is actually a past student of Case Blair School from years and years and years ago. Now, she's only young, she is. Bernadine is her name. So she does have some amazing um, hair bands, but also the jewellery, like even like people to comment on these little necklaces, these are all very cheap, even them little earrings, and they're all spicy big. And anybody that watches any of my recorded online um, tutorials, it's nearly always the spicy bee jewellery that I wear. So she has come on board and said, listen, Jeanette, I see you get lots of comments about the hair bands. So she's going to offer um, a lucky person here today. You're going to win a hair band. And if you come in different colours, I have a pink one on. Where's my white one? That's kind of a, an ivory coloured one as well. Like the detail on them is amazing. She has them in teal, she has them in navy. She's loads of different colours. And again, if you order them, she'll have them posted out to you quick enough. But anyway, the prize winner, as well as winning the hairband, is also going to win a couple of pieces of jewellery as well. So listen, don't know what the question is going to be. So you know with us here at the school, you have to listen carefully. You have to click share. So everybody that's watching now at the moment, click share and let's get the word out there. And then I can start on the arrangement. Who's watching, dear? Okay, well, we've the weather forecast already because... <laughs> Mackie, so not even giving me a chance to do the weather forecast. <laughs> and Marie uh, says, Dull and drab in Dublin today. Was raining earlier, not raining at the moment, and I'd say it's going to piss rain later on. <laughs> and Marie in Dungannon said, It's wet and miserable down in. Hang on a second, I'm about to lose the comment. Um, where is she gone? Anne Marie, wet and miserable, but smiling watching you. <laughs> um, let me see. Leanne says, She loves your card again. Oh, Dolores is got that up the north, walk in wardrobe on Instagram, fabulous stuff. There's a girl Laura runs that page. I'm really promoting things here this morning, but her stuff is amazing. That's <laughs> <laughs> just the hairband. Laura Yates says we'll all be buying the hairbands. <laughs> um, Do you know what they're absolutely great for is the roots. You know that way, like my roots are just mad at the moment. So um, like for the past like what two or three months, because I was nearly due to get my colour done when the quarantine, the lockdown kind of kicked in. So I've been wearing hair bands for the last three, four months, roll on the 29th of June and I can get the colour done. Okay, so we're ready to start. Yep. So this morning what I'm going to do... Because you have to be careful now. Remember we had somebody the other day who said, shut up talking and get on with it. Yeah, somebody told me to shut up talking and get on with the arrangement. So I better watch myself here today. <laughs> so what are we going to use? I'm going to use a posy pad. Actually, dear, I forgot to get the block. Will you start oh, the block? Oh, I'll Yeah, and the frog's leg for me. So I'm going to use a posy pad container. So this is the container which you can only buy from a local flower shop. We don't have them for sale here at the school. So if we do have any flower shops watching... Please put up your link and put up that you're selling the posy pads. But what I'm going to show you is also how you can do this on a dinner plate. Now, we didn't have a dinner plate here in the school today. But, um, you know, the cupcake bloke is around the corner from us. So we just steered around and around and she just got a lend of a dinner plate off him. So what you need to do is get some frog's legs. Now, I've just got one here, but I'd say get two or three of them. So if you get some frog's legs and Oasis Fix. Now, we do sell the frog's legs and the Oasis Fix on our... Um, online online shop page okay so what you do is pull the oasis fix off the back of it roll it around in your fingers and thumb make a little ball for yourself don't flatten the ball stick Two it onto the end of the off. yeah and if you cut that in yeah i'll even do it you just get me a knife is roll it into a ball stick it to the end of the frog's leg and then stick it onto the plate now if you put about three of the um frog's legs randomly onto this plate okay and then get your block of foam. Now this is two thirds of a block of foam. It's not soaked, okay? So you can soak it. But what I want you to do is cut it this direction, okay? And hopefully I don't cut down through my... Um, this is some bloody knife you handed me there. Okay, use the little florist knife. It'll be safer and you'll get it straighter. 
So if you cut your flow straighter than I've done it there, okay? But what I do is I'll put it on the plate that direction anyway. Is cut your foam like that direction, soak it, and then what you're going to do, you'll probably need to get another piece as well, is then place it onto your plate. Do you see like that? So if you have a couple of frog's legs, do you see the way you'll be able to attach the foam, okay? It doesn't matter all the little joinings or little gaps, and you might have to fill it in little, or, little awkward pieces like a jigsaw puzzle, use the frog's legs. We sell the frog's legs with the fix on the back of them, 10 of them, oh, they're really cheap. You'll get it on the website, flareschoolirelands.com, scroll down to the floral sundries button, and that we'll, way, we'll, And we'll add it to the sundries list to the top of that that's page. It. We've made life really easy for you. We put a sundries order form at the top of the page, you can just print it off, Tick what you want, photograph it, email it to us, and we get it out of the post. So that's how everybody can make their own posy pad base. The work out really cheap. Two blocks of oasis would sort you out. Four or five frogs legs. You need an anchor tape it in or anything. You're going to put it on the table. It's a table arrangement. Now, whether you're going to bring it to the grave or not, I don't know. So then next thing is go out to your garden and forage, rob, and relocate as much different varieties of foliage as you possibly can. So Deirdre had to do all this for me today, because you all know my garden is a little bit pathetic. So she has a couple of little bits of um, euonymus. So what I'm just kind of doing over here is I'm starting to stick in a couple of little strands of the euonymus. I'm going to turn it around to you in a second just to give the effect. Now you can see there, they're all different lengths. There's no pattern, there's no system. And what I'm going to do is kind of cover or kind of stick to what I call the grouping method. So I'm now just kind of going to use a couple of little smaller pieces and I'm working kind of inwards on the base. I haven't a particular shape in mind. I'm going to keep working because you're one that was given out to me last week for keep talking. So I'm going to keep working. <laughs> and basically what I'm doing is I'm just sticking all this euonymus in. We don't talk, all we together. can't say no to all the people. Absolutely. Who should we have all the people who should we have to do it? We have 152 people watching it at the moment, Jeanette. Oh, God. brilliant. Absolutely. So out the 152 people that's watching, get, click and share, okay? We have great giveaways today couple of floral items that we're going to be giving away and also Spicy Bee has given us one of these hair bands and a couple of little pieces of jewellery pieces that we'll also be giving away. So okay. keep going with your euonymus. Jim's going to talk now in a second. I'm working with a little bit of black pittosporum. So I'm finding another se section on my posy pad and I'm going to stick a little bit of the black pittosporum in, the tom tom and um, I'll have a few more bits for here. Getting all organised, and then I'm going to keep sticking that in. So off you go there, dear. Okay, right? so we have Abigail says it's wet, 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 and prosperous. I think we can take that to the wet all over. I seem to be wet all over. How are you, Abigail? Fabulous photograph you posted in the Flurry Fun group. And um, anybody in the Flurry Fun group, our model this week was Abigail, all dressed up beautiful, fabulous pink dress, and she was holding her floral arrangement, which matched her um, attire. She looked absolutely gorgeous. Hair all done, fabulous. Um, Looked amazing. No hair bands needed with Abigail. No, no, definitely not. Um, Annie says it's raining in Bolton in the UK. Anne says it's sunny. Oh, it's sunny in Galway. Sunny in Galway. Oh, okay. Right, right. We're all going to the west. The wild west. In Kate is up in Rotten. Oh, it's Rotten in Coot Hall up the north. It's wet in Sheffield. So the rain is on from there. Um, Sarah is on from Tyrone and she says she's loving your hairband. You could be with a chance of winning one of those. Absolutely. The more comments we get about the hairband, you never know. Christine says... Just while Deirdre's talking there, Deirdre robbed one allium out of her garden. Just thought it was amazing. I'm just going to plunk that in there. Just not into the centre, off centre. That's the great thing about this design. Do whatever you want. You can keep talking. You can be watching Emmerdale in Carnation Street. Carnation Street wasn't too bad last night. Emmerdale is still shite it is, you know, that way. But anyway, you can be doing something else and you can be making one of these faces. Keep going there, dear. Uh, Christian says, walking wardrobe is imported down and it's Porta fantastic. Down. Oh, fabulous. And, and you know, it's not that expensive. Um, this cardigan was a couple of weeks ago. This, I just actually struck it on me today. Must have been nice because even the husband says, God, that's nice. You look a little bit summery looking. I'm just on the variegated pit of there. So you can see now the way I have a few pieces kind of sticking out. This is going to be for a large table. We're all going up to do. De we're going to your, your house on, on Sunday, Sunday yeah, yeah. So Deirdre is doing Father's Day dinner up in her house on Sunday. So she need a big table because there'll be about four. There'll be no food. There'll be no food. So she said to me, make this arrangement as big as possible that'll take up half the table. And especially her mother-in-law might be there, and she we can just pretend she's a fabulous dinner. Absolutely. And what Deirdre has told me on the sneaky sneaky is what's the name of that pub? All of the two sisters. Now hopefully the mother-in-law's not watching, okay? But there's this pub, the two sisters, Terenure, I think it is. And last week, Deirdre got a fabulous takeaway roast dinner. She said it actually done two days. So this week we said, okay, here we go. We're going to order in the roast takeaway dinner from the two sisters. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, for Father's Day. 
Uh, Claire Howland, I'm having a sneaky watch while I'm sorting out Perspex screens for my staff to return to work. Yeah, and isn't the, the Perspex screens off the wall the price of them? Where are they coming up with 200 euros and all that for the Perspex screens? Absolutely scandalous. Like, talk about ripping us off. So, you can see there that was just a little bit of the Barrogate Pittosporum in there, our black Pittosporum here, a little bit of Euanimus, and one alley in the garden. No particular shape, no setup, all kind of random. Basically, it's one of these containers you can do whatever you like on it so you can imagine if you use the dinner plate that i showed earlier on with the foam attached with the frog's leg anybody that's only joining in now you will be able to watch this from the beginning when i do shut up and we get kind of to the end of it anybody that's just joined us please click share we have lots of giveaways today we're going to be giving away some floral items that i'll be using in this display and also spicy bee has sponsored us for one of these hair bands when you have a choice of colors they come in ivory teal. Spicy maybe. didn't, uh, Brendine didn't tell us whether she was going to give it away on Facebook and Instagram. I think she might give two away. Do you think she might? I don't know. Will we have we, to, we, we, we tell us she is. <laughs> Jamie, Matt, I don't know. Well, I suppose it depends on how many um, followers we have on the Instagram and how many comments, I suppose. Yeah. So I suppose yeah. we don't have a great following on Instagram. So if you are watching on Instagram, why not start tagging Spicy B? Bernadine will get the notifications. She'll pop over and then maybe you could we can ask her then. Say, gives... Bernadine, are you giving away a hairband on the Instagram page as well as the Facebook page? Sure you listen. If you don't ask, you don't get. I went out to my own garden this morning and I got a couple of Batsy leaves and I just want to show you what I did with them. So using florist wires, either 22s or 20 gauge, so whatever wires you happen to have, okay? What you do is you look at the back of the leaf. Pick what you call, if you want to call it the middle vein. So pick the middle vein, middle stem coming up there at the back about two inches so approximately where the top of my finger is so hopefully you can all see that yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick the wire in one side of the vein outside the other side of the vein you think i was a doctor here and it's called stitching the leaf okay so bring the wire approximately 50 percent through then you can use your two fingers and you can bend two pieces of wire down to see at the same stage just yeah but yeah there we go and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap one piece of wire around the other piece of wire and the stem of the leaf at the same time. So then what I'm able to do is I'm able to manoeuvre the leaf, to see to get it to curve and to go exactly where I want it to go. So to save time, because I didn't want to be told to shut up today, <laughs> I have pre-wired a couple of the leaves. I just wanted to Joan tell says don't shut up. She loves listening to oh, you. Oh, thanks, Joan. Sure, listen. Sure, Joan is one of our best fans. And May Chong says maybe you can sell your own hairband too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love these hairbands. I have them in all the colours I have. That ivory one is actually my own one. And I'm wearing the pink today to match the cardigan. And um, I have it in the kind of teal colour. Actually, the night of the birthday party. That was the hairband that I wore the night of the, the birthday party. So what I'm just doing with these batsy leaves is you can see the way I'm just kind of like stepping them in. You see on the base there. And they're absolutely great for coverage. I'm a little small one here. I'm going to use this one kind of just like last. Just a quick question. Do you and know maybe um, them overlap. Go on. Where are we going? And now Kate wants to know, how do you learn to recognise the plants and the names of the leaves? Having a clue. I'm not a horticulturist. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, anything. I tell you about plants and stuff dear has actually told me in Florida when I would have been tra um, training as a florist you learn a small amount everybody thinks florists know everything about plants no we don't mostly we buy in plants to sell in flower shops we look up a little book we learn all about them and then we're able to tell you as a customer I absolutely hate the garden I'm not into gardening if you see my garden I have the best looking weeds in Rialto I have this is leaf shine so I'm just going to spray the leaf shine what I did, I think, yesterday evening on the, um, this will kill you, by the way, you'd be coughing like mad after it. On the Case Flurry Fun Group, I'm not sure if I did it in the Case Flurry School page, I posted two absolutely brilliant books that we recommend our students to buy. And they tell you both the names of all the books. I just actually went in to look for them and I couldn't Don't find it. Don't know where they are. Uh, I want to do afterwards. I'll post them up in the comments later on and you can have a look at it. You can order them on eBay, Amazon, and this um, crowd contacted me last week. Stem vases, something. Yeah. I'll have to look it up. And they sell them. They were only $17.99, actually. They were the cheapest for them. And she says they have them in stock and they'll get them out straight away. I think the girl's name was Laura, not sure. So listen, I'll put that link up later on. So I'm going to hold this up in the air just to kind of give you an idea of what it's looking like so far. And now I'm working on to a different type of foliage. So a bit of eucalyptus. All this foliage is out of Deirdre's garden, by the way. So I'm just sticking a little bit of eucalyptus kind of in at the edge here. With this posy pad base, I kind of have a layer of, it's like a kind of a styrofoam at the end. It's not plastic base, it's a styrofoam base. And then I have the floral foam on top. Now we buy them in like that. 
Again, you can buy it from a local florist. If there's any florists watching, please post your links up, comment that you're selling them and people can go and buy them off you. Otherwise, at the beginning of the tutorial, I did show how you could make one yourself using a dinner plate, a few blocks of foam and some frog's legs and then Oasis Fix. I have done that trick loads of times. It's very, very successful. It's so cheap. It's so reasonable to do. And you're on a day like this, who wants and to And especially go great if you are doing stuff from your garden. Like I find, you say, in my garden, the hydrangeas are actually quite short. So when you want short flowers, to post a pad is great. You're not trying to make something tall. Um... Again, yeah, I just love it. to show you so far there, to see what the little bit of eucalyptus. So as I said, it's all about groups. Go out to the garden and rob as many different selections as you possibly can. I have a little bit of ivy here. Deirdre obviously has loads of ivy grown in her garden. So I'm now just picking a different area and I'm going to start Okay, just, um, I think we need to put the question for the hair bands. So what are we going, what's going to the question going to be? We haven't talked this through. No, we that haven't. happening here this morning. Um, okay, so the question for to win the hair band, we haven't seen Spicy B over on Instagram yet. She hasn't joined us, so... So if you're on but a good few people have tagged her. Pop, pop over to um, even pop over to the Facebook page. We're not going to announce the winner straight away, and that can give everybody a chance to kind of join in if they want to join in. That's probably the thing. Okay, so the question is going to be, um, what's the girl who owns Spicy Bee's name? Okay, that was a hard one. Was it? I only said it once. Did you? Yeah, I only said it once. Okay. Was it Bernadine? What's was it? Name? <laughs> That was a hard question, I did. But anyway, I'm actually giving you a little hint there, right? Begins with B. Spicy B. You know that way, sure. Even if you only got the B, so that would help you, wouldn't it? I have a little bit of mini Hebe. I'm working over here on this side, sticking in the um, Hebe. I think if you get everybody to tag her. Okay. So how to tag? Because some of you don't know how to tag. To tag, you put the at sign. Then you write spicy, S-P-I-C-E-Y. Leave a space and a capital B. So that's how you tag somebody. So why not, if you know her name, yeah, put the name up, but that was a hard question. I did, you're not being a bit fair this morning. <laughs> Otherwise, easy now, it wasn't me picking the question for you. So I always like to pick a brain dead question, something that'd be easy and everybody can answer. So if you can't remember her name, why not um, tag the company? That would even be a better idea. And then, at least then, if Bernadine may be waiting... Well, loads of them are getting the right answer. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. oh sure. fair play to them then. They're not as thick as I thought. <laughs> Sorry, girl. <laughs> so, over this side, I'm just going to put another couple of the fatty leaves. I have them wired up here. And again, it'll help to kind of cover this area. This was a 16-inch posy pad. In case anybody's wondering, like, what size posy pad was that? I'm going to hold it up at this stage now, just to give you an idea, like, what it looks like. So, as you can see, it's going to take up half the table. Deirdre won't have to worry too much about the dinner on Sunday. This is going to take over the whole table. And sure, once she puts a bottle of wine in front of us, sure, we be absolutely delighted. We're an easy pleased family. And sure, my dad would eat anything, you know, that way. <laughs> once it was handed up to him, he's the easiest person in the world to feed. Now... I'm getting close to the centre. I'm putting in a little bit of um, rosemary now, by the way. So at least then, if there's no um, <laughs> there's like no smell dinner. Off the dinner, <laughs> if they don't collect the dinner, if they start <laughs> drinking and they don't get to, direct, to collect the dinner, they'll all be smelling the herbs anyway, and she will think like it's absolutely wonderful. So I've left a little bit of space in the begin in the centre on purpose. I am going to be adding flowers into this as well. So I want to show you um, this item here. We have this for sale up on our website, okay? So again, flowerschoolireland.com. Scroll down until you find the Flower Sunkey Shop. And you'll see this stuff here. It's called, Chris I call it Crystal Earth. What have you got on the page as? Swell Gel, I think. Swell Gel, dear, it has it up as. And it actually says Crystal Accent. So you'll have a right job trying to find it, okay? It looks like that anyway, the packets of it. And what you do is, that little packet, so it's really very light. That little packet, you mix it with water and it makes a whole gallon, which is eight pints of these kind of like crystally jelly things. It's absolutely amazing stuff it is. Now we forgot to do it last night because it takes four hours. So Deirdre cheat this morning and she put it into a vase and she poured boiling water on top of it. Now it's gone cool now it is. It was boiling earlier on. And that's, I don't know whether you can see the quantity there. Can you see into that? Yeah, vase? and that actually, did, did, it's more swell able right. for that. So that's what we got in an hour, okay? So she needs to mix more water into this again and she'll be up to the gallon. So what I was able to do, she, you know me and my gin glasses, okay? So this is where I'm turning this into a table centre. Now, unless your dad fancies a gin, you could leave the gin glasses on this arrangement if you are bringing it up to a grave for Father's Day. But otherwise, if your dad is alive on the day, alive and kicking, give him a real bottle of gin and he'd be absolutely delighted. So I'm going to find a little space here on my um, base and I'm just going to stick that down there. 
And to hold that in place, I'm just going to use some wires that are covered in gutta tape. Now, it's not going to hold it in place. It's just to kind of keep it steady. So these are just wires covered in gutta tape, thicker wires. I'm cutting them kind of into um, little um, well, three-inch pieces, whatever. And I'm just going to make kind of like an L part out of it. See that? So I can stick that down into the base and the little L part will overlap over the bottom rim of the glass. So I'm putting a few of them in. It can be hidden by greenery afterwards so nobody will see it. And um, as I said, it's not going to support that I could carry it across the road and the glass is not going to fall off. It just gives it a little bit of steadiness just to hold it in place. You could use normal wires without the gutter tape on them and it would probably do the same job. It's just that these wires with the gutter tape on them, there's two 20 gauge wires together and they're just that little bit thicker, you know that way, just gives an extra bit of support. So around the end of that last area, you're just going to have to believe me because I can't actually hold that one up kind of on a slant now at that stage. So now I'm going to continue in filling in a little bit more with the greenery before I go any further, before I add in the second glass. Because, like, you know in our house, there's never anybody drinking on their own. We always like to have drink in twos. What do you think of the new laws, um, the pubs, the 90 minutes or the 110 minutes? It's just going to be mad. And the £9 packet of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> the meal. The meal, the meal. for two. Um, Okay, I think we might give away some swell gel. What's your reckon? Right, swell gel. Because they all, they're all loving again. the swell gel. Okay, right. Now remember, click share. Let us know. Yeah, we're actually up to 212 people watching oh, at the moment. absolutely so. brilliant. Okay, I'll keep going because I don't want your one giving out to me that I'm still talking. I'm nearly there. I've all the little bits of green we kind of like filled in. I filled in around that glass. And then what I have is a second glass. Here we go. We have our second glass. And what I want to do here is kind of like twist these two glasses in beside each other. There we go. And I want the second one resting on top of the foliage. So you can see now the way the second glass has the crystal air. If you maybe well. made two little pins with the wire, it might hold that glass Absolutely. a little bit higher for you. Grant. So <laughs> great tint. Um, great tip there, Deirdre. So again, another couple of these wires covered in the gutter tape. I'm going to bend them over and I'm going to stick it over the stem of the glass, okay, and down into the base. And the great thing about these bases is because it's styrofoam at the bottom, the wire actually goes down into the styrofoam. And you know, that glass will probably help hold the other one in place as it well. It will actually, So I'm just yeah. going to get that down there. I'm not going to chance holding it up, okay, so but I'd say it will be kind of steady-ish. Okay. <laughs> right. So now we're ready for a couple of flowers, and I have to say that looks absolutely gorgeous. Now that has cost us nothing because everything was robbed out of Deirdre's garden. Okay, it costs us the base, but I have shown you at the beginning of the tutorial how you could make the base with a dinner plate, blocks of oasis, and frog's legs. Keep clicking share, by the way. So in Deirdre's garden, she had a couple of these um, fabulous purpley hydrangeas. The Allium was out for her garden as well. I removed all the foliage and I'm just going to stick it randomly down into the base, okay? Also, she had two baby hydrangeas, you know what I mean? The poor little tree, you know what I mean? Probably I know. starting off anyway. I'm going to cut these and again, over one side of it, I'm just going to put a little group of the two little pink And that's the first year that that blue hydrangea has actually um, flowered. Oh, right. Yeah, so. And then she had this other kind of like pale pink she really went to town on her garden today but Deirdre has a huge garden so you can see the way randomly we're just putting a couple of flowers in it and do you know I actually think this will still look well on a grey with the glasses I on think it. so too yeah I want the glasses back you know that way I haven't got many of them glasses so we already had this in stock this is not in De uh, Deirdre's garden this is just a viburnum I think yesterday morning when I was doing the live I had a vase of it beside me and I said you know what we'll do is we'll cut up a couple of them the viburnum is an absolutely great lasting flower by the way so again we have a couple of them so again just to show you a group of them there. okay we need to do the competition for the swell gel okay um, what we, was the question for the we swell gel? we haven't given one out yet oh Jamie Mackie I'm talking away we're talking again. too much I'm right. yeah. talking shite <laughs> whose garden did the green we all come from so comment there below there's an easy question leave the questions to me so whose garden did most of the green we get robbed from or did it come from 20th answer wins a packet of swell gel so get get type in there you can enter enter as many times as you wish adjudicator's uh, decision is final it'll be the 20th answer that we see not that way you count and um, Martina Healy says she's going to order a curry and get a bottle of Bacardi and seven up sent down to her. She says she's not going to be um, sh shoving it down in there. Um, beautiful. They're all loving the arrangements. A couple of little yeah. that Deirdre had 
Uh, oh, actually, I can say that. Don't know who's guarding. I got these out of as well. So again, I'm going to add a few of them in. So we couldn't be giving away all the answers. Now remember, the twenty dancer, you can answer as many times as you want. Um, she brought me in one a day. She was a little bit two. So there we go. It so just started. Oh, there we go. Um, so salvia. A little bit of salvia there. So just going to stick the two of them in there for a little bit of height. Um, where's my bottles? So you know me with the bottles of gin. So two little mini bottles of gin. You could empty, you could drink them. And these are full of gin, by the way. But you could actually um, empty them, fill them with water, put the caps back on. And what I did to the back of them, it's like a kebab stick or a wooden skewer stick, and it's just sellotaped on. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to stick in my two bottles here, kind of on an angle to one side of the glass. Again, I'm going to try and stick that stick down into the um, styrofoam base as well as down through the floral foam. And you can also stick the sticks down through the leaves. It's after coming out through the other end, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a trim. There we go. Just to hold our two bottles, you That's see, in gorgeous. place. And will we put a flare into the crystal earth? Um, yeah, now you still have the other flares here. You're going to put the, them, the hydrangeas and stuff, no? Let me see. Will we put the hydrangea into the glass? Actually, there we go. What you just need is, there's not much water in this glass. It just has the crystal earth in it. So just get a small amount of water and pour it into the end. It's just that we were rushing making this this morning and we haven't got, we haven't got enough water added into it, okay? So there should be a little bit of water in the end. I'll add that in later on. And then it means that you get a flare and you cut it short. just want to cut it another little bit shorter. It means that the stem is tipping the end of the glass down to the little ice and um, it look, you know, it's able to drink water and oh, it's going to stay fresh. And what else have we got? What about a little viburnum, I think, maybe in the other one? Yeah. So again, a little viburnum head into the one that's kind of like a line on the side. Oh, you have your limes there. You're going to put those in? There. We have a couple of limes. Do I prefer them? Um, the limes in the gin is nice as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get a bit of cucumber as well, or lemons, <laughs> you know that way. So these, these are artificial limes, by the way, so we won't be eating these. And again, I just have the kebab stick just stuck up into them. And again, just picking a section. That's going to be my side of the table with the gin glasses and the gin bottles. This will be Dad's side of the table. We'll just give him the limes, okay? <laughs> so just over this side of the table, I'm just putting in a group of limes. So the idea, actually, we put that as your mother now. She doesn't drink. No, she doesn't she drink, yeah. That she can sit that side. Dad can sit beside me, he can. So the idea of this arrangement, that it's a talking piece. So no matter what side of the table you're on, you have something to look at. And even if people are saying, ah, oh God, look at the allium, ah, oh, look at the limes, and the hydrangea, and the viburnum, and the little mini bottles. Oh, God, look at the glasses with the ice in them, and the euonymus, and the rosemary, and the viburnum. Do you get the idea? It's a talking piece, it's talking even more than me. I have a few little... Um, and trinums. And as well. But you know, I think there's nearly enough yeah. in that. I think there's absolutely plenty in that. And how you could do this as a grade, now I don't want to hold it up because I'm afraid that the glasses would topple even though I have them secured with the wires. But if you just removed the glasses, you could, and you could remove the bottles as well, you could then have your grave arrangement, it'd be absolutely perfect. And if you're a um, teetotaler, you just put a carton of milk in there, or a glass of milk, sure everybody loves a glass of milk with their dinner as well. So, how are we going? What's happening? You'd like it. Am I getting it? Yeah, no, they actually, yeah, but, it? yeah, no. Did I shut could... up or did I talk enough or did I talk too little? Anybody going to make one of these? If anybody is going to make one, we'd absolutely love to see it. Like, post it up on the page, post your photographs. And remember, like, you're more than welcome to go over and join the Flurry Fun Group. And this is where everybody can post their photographs. The great thing about the Flurry Fun Group, we never have anybody cranky or narky or giving out or whatever. It's a great group. Everybody supports each other. Just a quick reminder is our next module one, the online program, is starting on Monday the 13th of July. There is a 400 euro grant funding available for it. The best thing to do is drop me an email, info at flareschoolireland.com and um, I can send you on the details about enrolling for that program. It's a four week program that you can do the online course basically at your own pace. And then for them four weeks, Everybody gets a member of a private bloom room and this is where they can post their questions and basically they have Deirdre and myself at their beck and call. So if they have any questions, any problems, need any support or posting up their arrangements for critique or feedback, that's the idea of the bloom room. So it runs Monday to Friday, 9.30 to 3.30 each day is the bloom room. You don't have to tune in during them times. Like 
it's actually, I think all week, the last two, three weeks, I've been answering any of the comments and the emails and that up to maybe 10 o'clock at night time. Now that doesn't mean I'm guaranteed to do that, but if I'm available and if I'm not out and with the pubs closed at the moment, so what else would you be doing for the 90 minutes only answering all the comments on the Facebook page? Um, now there you did go. you take the budgie seeds for your breakfast? What's that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm yapping away like mad. Oh. <laughs> What's them? Parrots. Parrots, oh. yeah, I did. Muesli budgie seed, yeah, I did. Absolutely keep me going. Um, it's amazing. Love the idea. Putting the glasses in just makes it so personal. Love it as a wedding centrepiece. Would this fabulous. would be fabulous as a wedding centrepiece. Absolutely. Love and again, keep on talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, it would be fabulous as a wedding t t centerpiece and you know what it could be done up in artificial flowers as well you could keep it to fresh foliage from your garden which would be quite reasonable and then you could add in some artificial flowers in and out through it which would last for ages this base is a little bit awkward to water the best thing to do is put it in the end of the shower basin or the end of the bath or bring it out and put it on the grass or the pavement and pour the water slowly slowly over it like that you know what I mean to keep it well watered because again there's a lot of material in the base and the floral foam is only about that shallow. So remember, if you enjoyed it, click share. If you didn't enjoy it, still click share. Who's the winner of the... Okay, I can't get back to the spicy be on Facebook, but on Instagram, our winner is Gabrielle O'Leary. So that's for the so hairbands. That's for the hairbands, the spicy bee hairbands. So Gabrielle O'Leary, you've won the hairbands. So if you give us a private messages your address, that's the handiest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass your details then on to Bernadine, and then she'll post the hairband. Bernadine was her name. And Bernadine was her name. And I'll post the hairband, or sorry, Bernadine will post the hairband, and she said she's also going to enclose a couple of little pieces of jewellery as well. Like these little earrings, this little necklace, that's all spicy bees. Very reasonable. They last, like, you know what I mean, like they're... They stay, if you, anybody looks at my tutorials, like back early in the summer, I was wearing these necklaces, like they, they last for ages is what I'm trying to say. Um, I just can't go back far enough in the comments to get the comment, the, the winner on Facebook, but I will type them underneath. Oh, okay. Um, the, it just won't let me go back that far in the comments on, um, for the Swell Gel on Instagram, Sweet William. I so think Sweet that's, William, that's one of our students. I think she is. I think she used to outside in what, Aoife, that Aoife, was her name. Yeah. Sweet William, Aoife, you've won the Crystal Alert, so message us with your name and address, and we stick one in the post. And on Facebook, the winner was Wendy Hollingworth. Hollingsworth. I think Hollingsworth. she's one of the students on the online program. I oh, she's or is that Wendy Conley? Maybe I'm not. Hi Wendy Hollingsworth, you've won the Crystal Alert, so message us with your name and address and we'll get that in the post for you today. Yeah. Okay, so listen, thanks a million for joining in. Um, any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll respond to you all this evening. Have a fabulous weekend, everybody, and you're gonna post a live video on Sunday night, are you? Uh, a new video, yeah. So Dave yeah. will have a new step-by-step -step tutorial, like a pre-recorded one, and she's going to post that on the page on Sunday night. Please click share. The whole idea is that we're trying to build up our social media following, get our name out there. On and particularly and Instagram. on Instagram. Like, particularly but, on Instagram, um, especially my Instagram page. I'm but this is actually on my Instagram. So always on Dave's Instagram. I have very few followers on my Instagram page, so pop over and give me a follow as well. And this will be on Instagram stories so they can share Instagram stories to their story. Absolutely. Listen, have a great day, everybody. Thanks a million for joining. Thanks a million for joining in and interacting with us. Really enjoyed it. Talk to you all very soon. Have a great day.